Hello guys, welcome again to uh, yet another episode on our channel. We do travel vlogs, we do we explain things, we explain technology on this channel. We have a website youngessasunday.com that we also publish there. So check us out and in case you are new here, you can kindly subscribe to support us. So today we have to highlight some facts about Meningai Crater. I know most of you people, you would like to visit Meningai Crater as a tourist, as a local tourist or, or as an international tourist. So uh, Meningai Crater is one of the major tourist attractions in Kenya, situated in Nakuru County, and it's approximately 10 kilometers from the CBD of, Na of Nakuru. And so Meningai attract visitors from as far as Mombasa, Nairobi, and even all over the world. People come to see this kind of crater. So number one fact about this kind of crater is this kind of crater situated in Nakuru County is that it's a dormant volcano. Yeah, Meningai crater is one of the volcanic mountains sitting in the Rift Valley in Kenya on Mount Longonut. The other volcano site is less than 60 kilometers away. However, unlike Longonot, Menengai crater is not extinct. It is marked as dormant, meaning that the future eruption is anticipated. So if you visit Menengai crater, guys, you should know that it can erupt when you are still there. And so, but it's good to visit, okay? It will not erupt, guys, for now. Just visit there and have a nice time for yourself. Menengai crater, it is the second largest caldera. A caldera is a lake on top of a mountain, I think, and a crater lake. Okay? It's a crater lake. So Menengai crater has the second largest caldera. It is believed to be the second largest caldera in the world, and it's the largest in Kenya. Therefore, the caldera has a mind blowing of 90 square kilometers. Okay, that is very massive land, guys. 90 square kilometers. Okay. So, uh, this Menengai crater has steam jets. This is the third one. It has steam jets, one of the first factors supporting possible future eruption of the crater it is the presence of steam jets steam jets okay these appear on different parts of the mountain at the bottom of the caldera steam jets occur as a way of releasing pressure built by the heated underground water that has been another point is that uh, the menengai crater it's fairly young it's very young okay it is estimated to be only 200 years, 200,000 years old compared to other geogra geographical features in the, around the world. Menengai crater supports a variety of wildlife. The crater has a healthy population of which tends to support a number of animals. Frequently spotted animals including hyena, bamboos, baboons in the crater itself. Birds are living inside the crater and some part of the mountain people graze their livestock so it is an ecosystem okay menengai crater is run and protected by the kenya forest service okay the crater is under the administration of the kenya forest service the, the, this office helps in preventing illegal felling of trees and they are also they are, they also govern people looking to visit the crater so they for safety purposes and all other things they will make sure that you are okay when you visit the crater menengai crater is surrounded by mysterious tales the menengai crater is as beautiful as it may and not as favorite for all okay locals in the in the vicinity refer to the mountain as kirima kiangoma meaning that the mountain of demons demons okay several tales exist about how the mountain is haunted by many spirits that have died and killed within it the locals swear that the some parts of the mountain cause people to lose their sanity which sometimes leads 
it leads to suicide okay so i don't know if these tales are correct or not the people who have been there who have been lost later found in the crater were allegedly recovered by the state of delusion menengai crater to some people it's sacred to other people it's a place where you can go closer to god plus travel far wide the mountain to take days of prayer fasting clarity of peace Meningai Krat has numerous activities. You can participate in a variety of activities. This include bird watching, enjoying amnesty, immensely beautiful views of Nakuru town and its environs. It's 2,300 meters above sea level, peaking, peaking, uh, peaking, picnic, I think something like picnic and hiking is part of if you are a fan of that you can go to Menengai crater and enjoy yourself so guys uh, nakuru county has a lot of things to offer it has Menengai crater it has nakuru national park it has vast farms that you can visit and check out whatever is going there it has very massive greenhouses it has ho hospitable people who will welcome you and i believe that you should give nakuru county another chance in your next trip because i believe I want to visit Nakuru as well okay so see you in our next video in case you are new here kindly consider subscribing to our channel we just need to you to experience and travel with us and learn with us and research with us in case of any suggestions any comments kindly let me know in the comments below and let's keep it locked see you in our next video